Hi and welcome to NetApp KBTV. This video demonstrates the procedure to be followed to unjoin a node from a cluster running data on tap 8.1.x and later. This video is based on the KBID 103966. Cluster unjoin is an operation performed to remove a node from a cluster. The data on the node will have to be backed up completely before the unjoin operation can be completed. To move or temporarily disable a node, we don't have to unjoin it from the cluster. The procedure that will follow will permanently remove the unjoined node from the cluster. Once unjoined, a node can be joined back to the same cluster only if its configuration has been cleared out completely. This includes lifts, volumes and other objects. Now let's see how we go about doing this. First let's see the number of nodes in the cluster with the cluster show command. We see that there are four nodes in the cluster. In order to perform the unjoin operation we need to enter the advanced mode. Let's type set advanced to enter the advanced mode. Confirm with a yes. Now let's run the command cluster unjoin hyphen node space node name. In this case we will take the third node SCCFS05N02A. So we get a warning. This command will unjoin the node from the cluster. You must unjoin the failover partner as well. After the node is successfully unjoined, erase its configuration and initialize all disks by using the clean configuration and initialize all disks option from the boot menu, which is option 4. Do you want to continue? Yes. We see that the job failed. That's because there are a few dependencies that needs to be addressed like the node in question being the home node or current node for some lifts, the node hosting some volumes and node being SFO enabled etc. All these conditions needs to be addressed before we continue further. We can move volumes using the wall move start command we can run the net int migrate command to migrate to lif. We can modify the epsilon variable to be on a node that is not being unjoined with the cluster modify command. Now that the objects have been moved off the node being unjoined, the cluster should be ready. Firstly, let's run the cluster show command. Now let's run the cluster unjoin command. Cluster unjoin hyphen node node name. Let's continue with the yes. The job is queued. Checking prerequisites. Cleaning the database. We can see that the unjoin operation has succeeded and there's a suggestion to clean the configuration and initialize the disks of the partner node if applicable. Now let's log into the console of the node that was unjoined. We can see that the node has stopped booting and the screen displays the boot menu. We shall select the option 4. We have a question here asking to zero disks, reset config and install a new file system. Confirm with a yes. Confirm once again. Node is rebooting. So wipe file procedure is requested. 
Yeah, we can see that the disks are now being zeroed, indicated by the moving dots. To be noted is that one shouldn't attempt to skip this uh, wipe config or the option 4 recommendation and boot the node uh, back. If we do so, we run the risk of adversely affecting the active nodes that are remaining in the cluster. Uh, running the cluster show command on any node that remains in the cluster should not show any details about the node that was unjoined from the cluster. Also, any other commands when run should not display any errors or show objects still owned by that node, node that was unjoined. Now let's run the cluster show command. We see that the details of the unjoined node is not displayed. Now that the node has been successfully unjoined and cleared off its configuration, it is safe to power down and repurpose the node. We hope this video was helpful. Thank you.